welcome on SEMA from Edifinite. In this video, I'll help you to understand the different meanings and usage of phrasal verbs pick up and go out, which are quite often used in our daily communication. Learning the proper use of the phrasal verbs will help you to follow the native English speakers and improve your speaking skill. But before we begin, I would request you to give your valuable suggestions in the comment section. If you like the content, to give a thumbs up and share with your friends. Do consider subscribing to my channel and press the notification bell icon for future updates. Phrasal verbs. Let's delve into the topic. Now, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a phrase that acts as a verb and is made up of a main verb together with an adverb or a preposition or both. That is, its structure is phrasal verb is equal to verb plus adverb or verb plus preposition or verb plus adverb plus preposition. Now, the phrasal verbs can be transitive, that is, it has a direct object or intransitive, that is, it has no direct object. Now, the transitive phrasal verbs can be separable or inseparable. Now, we'll do a quick recap on these topics, but if you need an in-depth knowledge, then I have made a separate video titled Phrasal Verbs Part 1 in which I have covered all these topics in details. If required, please go through it. The link will be provided in the description box. Now, phrasal verbs, transitive and intransitive. The phrasal verb at the same time can be both transitive or intransitive. For example, pass out. Now, this phrasal verb, pass out, it can be both transitive and intransitive. First, we'll go through the meanings and then we'll make sentences with it to see which is transitive and which is intransitive. So pass out here, it means to become unconscious due to heat, exhaustion, alcohol, etc. For example, yesterday was too hot. In the afternoon, I thought I was going to pass out. Here, the phrasal verb pass out is intransitive. It does not have any direct object. It is only talking about the subject that is I. Next, here pass out means to distribute something to the members of a group. Now let's make a sentence. The band leader will pass out the notation sheet to all its members. Now this over here phrasal verb, the same phrasal verb pass out is transitive that means it has a direct object and the direct object of pass out here is the notation sheet so we see the same phrasal verb pass out in one sentence it is intransitive that is has no direct object and in the next sentence it has a direct object so it is transitive now let's look at another example Look up. Now look up here means find out information that usually refers to finding a word in a dictionary. Now let's look at a sentence. My mother asked me to look up the meaning of a word in a dictionary. So here it is transitive because what do we have to look up? The meaning of a word. Now in the next sentence, look up means to improve. After a terrible weather for a week, it seems to be improving. Things are looking up. So here it means things are improving. And here it is in the intransitive form as it has no direct object. Now, we've seen that the phrasal verbs have multiple meanings. So sometimes phrasal verbs seem to be difficult as they often have more than one meaning. In the previous section, we've seen the phrasal, same phrasal verb having two different meanings, like pass out, which is a particle verb. That means pass is the verb part and out is the adverb part. 
it has two meanings we have just done it one is to become unconscious due to heat exhaustion or alcohol etc and the other is to distribute something to the members of the group next look up now this is also a particle verb that means look is the verb part and up is the adverb part now it also has two meanings we've just done it to first is to find out information usually refers to finding a word in the dictionary and the other is to improve we will do phrasal verb pick up and look into its various meanings and try to make sentences and understand how they are used now pick up is also a particle verb that means the pick portion is a verb and up is the adverb now the first meaning is to lift something or someone from a surface now let's make some sentences the phone was ringing but there was no one to pick it up so here this is a transitive sentence and here the phrasal verb is separable that means since the object over here is a pronoun it which represents the phone now we have already done it that when the direct object is a pronoun it can never be at the end of the phrasal verb it always has to come in between the verb part and the adverb part so we say the phone was ringing but there was no one to pick it up and never to pick up it that's absolutely wrong but we can say the phone was ringing but there was no one to pick up the phone so if it's in the noun form we can either put it at the end or we can also make it separable and put it in between now next sentence as the infant was crying her mother rushed to pick her up so here too this is transitive verb pick up is a transitive verb and since we are using a pronoun as its object so it has to come in between pick and up we can never use it at its end so it is as the infant was crying her mother rushed to pick her up next the second meaning to go and meet someone or something that you have arranged to take somewhere in a vehicle now let's look at some sentences to understand the meaning clearly ravi was driving to the airport tonight to pick up sara now here this is also <clears throat> a transitive verb because it has an object pick up has the object sara and it is also separable we can also say ravi will be driving to the airport tonight to pick sara up but if we use her that is a pronoun instead of sara it will always be ravi will be driving to the airport tonight to pick her up now the next sentence she went to pick up her jacket from the dry cleaners now the next meaning is to learn a new skill or start a habit without intending to that means you were not intending or you did not have any intention of learning it but on the go you've just picked it up now let's look at a sentence to understand it better rita picked up a few french phrases while staying in paris so she did not have any intention of learning the language but on the go she has picked up a few french phrases next where did you pick up that idea from so i did not know that you were toying with that idea so where did you pick that idea from now let's look at the other meanings the phrasal verb is same pick up but its meaning is changing as we are using it in different sentences so here it means to get an illness from somewhere or something so let's look at the sentence she has picked up a nasty stomach infection from something she has eaten so she has eaten something maybe that was rotten or maybe that became stale for that reason she has picked up a stomach infection a nasty one the next one tourists usually worry 
that they might pick up a nasty stomach bug. So when tourists are going to a new place, they worry that the local food or the local water might, you know, be contaminated in some way or the other and they might pick up a stomach bug. Now the next meaning is to buy something. Let's look into the sentences. Could you please pick up some fresh flowers on your way back home? So this is, well, you're coming back home. Please buy some fresh flowers. The next one. She went to pick up some milk from the store. So she went to the store to buy some milk. Now the next meaning is to start something again from the point where you stopped. The, the sentence, we will pick up the conversation once I reach home. So we were conversing, but now I have to go home. And after I reach home, we'll again pick up a conversation from that very point where we have left it. Next, the couple thought they would get back and pick up where they left off. So the couple also have similar thoughts. Next, to improve. Everyone is hoping that industrial production will pick up soon. So everyone is hoping that the industrial production will improve soon. So maybe it's going a little slow, but it will improve and become optimal. Next, he will not be discharged from the hospital until his health picks up as expected. So his health has deteriorated and the hospital is in denial to leave him because until unless his health improves, they are not going to leave him. The next meaning, to receive an electronic signal on a radio or similar piece of equipment. So let's look into the sentence. The night patrolling boat picked up a distress signal from the cruise ship. So this is a frequency which has been picked up by the radio sent from the cruise ship as a distress signal. The next one. I don't think this device can pick up foreign stations. So this is a radio and I don't think it can access the foreign stations or pick up or receive the foreign stations. Next. To notice something that is not very obvious. That means it, everyone might not notice it, but someone is taking notice of. Like, I could pick up the faint sound of the engine of a car in the distance. So a car is in the distance whose engine is running and it's not very, you know, you just can't hear it. Everyone can't hear it, but I, I can. I can hear the faint sound. Sam could pick up the tension mounting up in the room though everyone was trying to act natural. So here pick up means Sam has noticed that there is some tension among his friends or whoever is sitting in that room though they are trying to act natural and they are trying to show that they are not in a tension. Now to pay for something. Now this is used in informal colloquial language. We don't usually use it in formal writing. So this is Raj has to pick up the tab for his brother's expensive lifestyle. So his brother has an expensive lifestyle, which Raj has to pay for. Now we come to the next phrasal verb that is go out. And we'll see the various meanings it has and it's used in various sentences. Now, first is to leave the house to go to a social event. For example, let's go out for dinner tonight. So you'll be leaving the house to go out for a dinner. Next, I'll go out with my friends tomorrow. So tomorrow in the morning, I'll be leaving my house and going out with my friends. Next, to have romantic relation with someone. They are going out for quite some time. So the couple is going out. That means they have a relationship for quite some time now. Next, Pat used to go out with a German girl. So, Pat had a relationship with that German girl. The next meaning is to stop burning or shining. The living room light went out for a moment. So, the light just stopped shining or it just went out for a moment and then it was back again. Next, we all got cold as a campfire went out in the middle of the night. So here 
everyone sleeping around had lit a campfire to keep themselves warm. Now in the middle of the night, maybe the wood finished or whatever, the campfire went out and as it stopped burning, what happened? They started feeling cold and as a result, they caught cold. That is, some started <laughs> sneezing, some started coughing. So that's how they caught cold. Now, to tell about the level of the sea. When the tide goes out, the sea water recedes from the land. So the level of the sea, we are talking about the level of the sea. When the tide comes up, the water flows in and when the tide goes out, that means it recedes back. The water level also recedes back. The next meaning is to be sent by post. Let's look into the sentences. Your bill will go out tomorrow so you can make the payments after that. That means your bill will be sent by post tomorrow and you can make payments after that. Have the invitations gone out yet? So have the invitations been sent by post yet? To be told to people. Let's look into the sentences. Word went out that the building will be demolished. So people have been told that this building will be demolished. Next. Word went out that the CEO was resigning next month. So people have come to know that the CEO will be resigning next month. So next meaning is to leave competition. Go out. This phrasal verb go out. The next meaning is to leave competition. For example, last year's champions went out in the first round itself. So the champion team of last year, when they were playing this year, what happened? In the first round itself, they were, they had to leave the competition. So we say last year's champions went out in the first round itself. Next, Red Bulls went out of the competition after losing the last match. So the last match that the Red Bulls team were playing, they lost and they were out of the competition. So Red Bulls went out of the competition after losing the last match. Now, the next meaning is to stop being fashionable. Baggy shirts went out of fashion long time ago. So baggy shirts is a style of a shirt which went out of fashion, that means it stopped being fashionable a long time ago. Next, to stop working as a protest. Let's look into the sentences. If the protesters go out on strike tomorrow, the police might intervene. So the protesters are thinking of putting a stop to their work as a mark of protest. And so the police might intervene. Next to be broadcast on the radio or television. The show goes out at 10 p.m. every Saturday. That means every Saturday at 10 p.m. the show is broadcasted. Now, let's revise a little. In conclusion, let us test our understanding of the subject. Now, the two phrasal verbs that we have done, pick up and go out. Now, we have to use the above phrasal verbs judiciously to complete the sentences given below. So the first sentence is, we all caught cold as our campfire blank in the middle of the night. Next, I'm not strong enough to blank the stable blank myself. My friend told me to blank her blank from the airport. They had blank a few Russian dialects when they were in Moscow. Have the invitations blank yet? Our team blank in the third round of the tournament. Now, you can pause the video and pick the phrasal verb, whichever is suitable for whichever sentence and write them down. If required, pause the video. And now I'm coming up with the answers. We all caught cold as a campfire went out in the middle of the night. Here went out means to stop burning. Next, I'm not strong enough to pick the table up myself. That means to lift something from the surface. Pick up.
Now this is separable. My friend told me to pick her up from the airport. So here too, this is a separable phrasal verb. And to pick up means to go and meet someone, something that you have arranged to take somewhere in a vehicle. So you'll have to pick up, up from the airport. The next one. They had picked up a few Russian dialects when they were in Moscow. So this is, this pick up means to start a new skill or habit without intending to. The next one. Have the invitations gone out yet? So this means to be sent by post. Now the last one. Our team went out in the third round of the tournament. That means to leave the competition. Thank you for being there with me. Hope you found this session useful. Do like and share with your friends. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. See you in the next one.